here's an odd little item that I acquired mm, some time ago. Found this brand new in the box. It's a Hofco trimet. Basically what it does is converts a small displacement chainsaw into a weed whacker. This one in particular is number 206-478. I have it installed on a Craftsman or Pull-In two cubic inch little top handle saw and basically it's just like it, it bolts right where your bar was uses a uh, a chain that has no cutters on it obviously to drive the right angle drive gearbox to turn your weed whacker pretty straightforward it's all pre-assembled basically, you just uh, you stick your gearbox in there and bolt it down, tighten it up, and then you have your tube and handle to put on there. The drive chain they gave you, I think there were some slightly different kits, but this is a very common type to buy, this kit. They, for, for this, it, it comes with a, uh, I believe this is a uh, 3 8 3/8 low profile chain. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what these are. Uh, list on the back. This actually is. I think this predates the chainsaw, which is already old, but predates that probably by a good 10 years because they make mention of uh, some of the common saws from that time, the 015 skill saws, Remington the early, earlier McCulloughs, um, Echo 301, 302, so chainsaws that are relevant at that time, I, I'd say this is from like the mid to late 70s maybe. It's pretty cool. Instruction manual. Um, not a whole lot to it, I mean it's pretty simple how you install this thing. They actually tell you to, they make mention of trimming the the cover and certain models, I guess the bar cover gets in the way. Yeah, I found this kit brand new in the box. Because <clears throat> they, have, they have that installed in a, on an Echo, looks like. They actually give you some instructions of taking it apart, I guess, to grease it or to work on it. Tell you how to use it like any regular re whacker. It does not come with that debris shield. I took that off of a old weed eater or pull in. I forget what, but I made that fit. It's a fairly small diameter tube, so I think I made a, a spacer out of like a piece of rubber and some vinyl tape to make that tight. So they, they don't give you that, you just you're supposed to run it open as they show you on the box. But it does the job, and it's pretty kick-ass because you know even a small displacement chainsaw they have way more torque than most of your uh, I don't know 20, 25 cc wee whackers, and it's very torquey, it's very loud. <laughs> um, it's just a lot of fun to use. It's not very practical. I mean, considering how cheap a curve shaft is these days, anyway. But it's a it's a neat idea. There's a parts breakdown, and uh, they give you this like spaghetti string line. This looks like it might be 80 or 90, not even 90. I think this is like 80, maybe 85. It's very thin string. It's brittle, probably because of its age. But I just stuck it back in the box and I put some steel uh, 95 on there. And the head is very simple. It just uses a plate, 
a couple of plates it's all it really is it bolts together to squeeze the string so it's basically a quick loader head with a bolt or a nut rather and the way the shaft is designed you can I could probably put a I could easily get an echo speed loader and put it in place of that but this is made pretty well it's two piece uh, uh, upper part looks like it's aluminum the bottom part is a like a sheet metal it's pretty cool this craftsman was in pretty good shape when I got it except for some paint missing there <clears throat> it's like a mid mid 80s model they're pretty common a little older because it actually says solid state. But there it is, the Hofco Trimet. A monofilament grass trimmer, attachment powered by your own chainsaw.